Good day. In this video, we're going to look at a problem in Euclidean geometry, circle geometry. They gave us a circle and some lines all over the place and a number there and some letters B, O, T and Q. Then they gave us some instructions about this sketch that we must now implement. I'm first going to discuss what they said and what we see and then we will do what they asked us at the bottom here, calculate with reasons, and then we'll handle about four or five questions. Before you start answering the questions they ask you, you must first visualize what's going on here. They are saying PT and QT are tangents at P and Q. So there's my PT and there's QT. From that information, I know that this is two tangents from the same point, which means that this line QT and PT will be equal and that means that this angle over here with this line of this triangle will be equal to this 56 and I can work out the interior angles of the triangles if I want to. The next thing they wrote is O is the center of the circle so that dot over there with O next door is the center that makes that now a radius and a radius which then means that that line and that line will be equal because radii are equal gives me another isosceles triangle over here which then means that that angle and that angle there will be equal and because this is a radii and this is a tangent another theorem kicks in which says that if you have a radius and a tangent the angle there will be perpendicular so there's a radius and a tangent so there's a perpendicular when we start this is not all easy to see but as you practice and practice you start seeing more and more of these features the last thing they wrote to us, they told us PQT, the angle is 56 degrees. Some people have trouble reading this, so you put your finger on P, move it to Q, move it to T. P, move it to Q, move it to T, and there's an arrow at the Q. So it, 56 is there at the, at the Q. Now the first question they're asking me is to work out QPT. So we write in triangle T. P, Q. I'm going to work in T, P, Q, back to T. My statement is T, P is equal to T, Q. T, P is equal to T, Q. My reason is tans from same point. Then I write angle Q is equal to angle P. is equal to 56 degrees. And my reason is angles opposite equal sides of a triangle. Then I write my final piece. Q, P, T, which they asked us, the angle at P there, is 56 degrees then I always write this value into my sketch for future use. The next question they ask me is to work out the angle P, T, Q. F finger on P, move to T, P to T, Q, Q, that angle at T. So we start again in triangle T, P, Q, T, P, Q, back to T, that triangle. Angle P plus angle Q plus angle T equals 180, interior angles of a triangle. Then I fill in the sizes that I have, and those I don't, I leave. So we have 56 plus 56 plus T equals 180. Then I minus these two 56s from the 180. Then we see PTQ equals 68 degrees, and I write it in on my sketch. The next question asks us to work out OPQ, the angle at P. So I go from O to P to Q. O to P to Q, little angle there. So we write OPT equals 90 degrees, tan perpendicular to radius. We know that that's a radius and that's a tangent, and the theorem says then that angle will be 90 degrees. Then this OPT is equal to that angle OPQ and QPT. So there are two little angles sitting over there. So OPT is the one angle plus the other one. Then we fill in all their values. This OPT we knew is 90. And then QPT we know from the previous step this is 56. Then we just solve for this. So OPQ, the angle at P, is equal to 34 degrees. And I write it in to my sketch. The next angle they want us to work out is POQ. Finger on P, 2O, 2Q. P to O to Q, the angle there. Then we start in triangle O, P, Q. O, P, Q, back to O. We're going to work in that triangle. 
OP is equal to OQ because they are radii. Then Q is equal to P is equal to the 34. Now you can write radii here. All angles opposite equal sides. I like this one. And then we write this 34 into the picture. Then we write O plus Q plus P is 180 degrees, interior angles of a triangle. Then we fill in the values that we know. Then we minus the two 34s from the 180. We get the answer POQ. The angle is 112 degrees. Then we write it in on the sketch. The last piece of the question says, prove that POQT is a cyclic quadrilateral. Show it to you, P, O, Q, T, back to P, that is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now you need to know your theorems to know when is a quadrilateral a cyclic quadrilateral. Stop the video and see if you can see what I'm going to write. First thing we write is O, Q, T is equal to 90 degrees. And your reason, tan perpendicular to radius. Then we write O, P, T is equal to 90 degrees tan perpendicular to radius. We did it earlier already, but I'm still writing it now again. So there, O, P, T is also 90 degrees. Then you just conclude P, O, Q, T is a cyclic quad. Why? Because here we have opposite angles of a quad that is supplementary. So that angle and that angle adds up to 180 degrees. Therefore, this is a cyclic quad. If you take this 112 and the 68, they will also add up to 180. You could have used that one too. This one is easier, I think. You could have given your reason over here as converse to opposite angles of a cyclic quad. These words are a mouthful, all of them. So you must buy one of the two reasons, keep it in your head, and always use it. Not both. If you write here, opposite angles add up to 180, they will also mark it right. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked this video. You can also subscribe to the channel. If there is anything, any maths from primary school to high school that you're not sure about, you can send a WhatsApp with a problem to this number. You can even take a picture and we will look at it and find a solution for you and make a small video and post it for free on this channel that everybody can benefit from your question.